And one of those discussions, by the way, has become a reality today. You know, last January, the Prime Minister announced that we're announced, uh, declaring January 28th as a day of remembrance against uh, or for the Quebec City mosque attack and again, action against Islamophobia. Today, it was signed by the Governor General. It became official today. So this is a byproduct of the work that you and others have been leading and you deserve the credit for getting us there. Uh, yes, uh, my colleagues, my friends and I have had uh, the, the, the honor of uh, conveying these, uh, 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 these aspirations, but you did a lot of the work uh, in advocating for the communities. You also have been the recipient of several Islamophobic vandalism that happened at some of your facilities and you've been a confident, proud voice not only in condemning it, but in speaking up for other community members who don't have the means that you do and, in, and raising awareness among policymakers, among media to say, this is what happens. Sometimes most people don't know about it, but this is what happens and we need to be united in speaking up against it. So thank you. Thank you for finding ways to bring, uh, to bring us together under these unusual circumstances. And Omar mentioned uh, uh, that uh, that we as a government have recognized January 29th as a day of action against uh, Islamophobia and recognition of what happened in Quebec City uh, when six people lost their lives and 19 others were orphaned. And that's precisely how we got, we got to the official proclamation of January 29th. Uh, that didn't happen in a vacuum. It didn't happen because of us. It happened because of you and your, uh, your relentless uh, uh, effort to engage and to guide us to really uh, push for that uh, recognition. And I'm so glad that uh, we're getting together uh, on the day that it became pub uh, official, on the day that it actually got published in the, in the Canada Gazette for all to see, right? So uh, it is now part and parcel of Canadian history. And it is thanks to you. 